blessed day. Before we dive into today's message, I want to take a moment to introduce something that I believe will be a blessing to all of us. I'm calling this series Moments of Hope. You see, in a world where we face challenges, uncertainties, and struggles every day, we all need moments, just small moments where we can pause, reflect, and be reminded that there's always hope. But not just any hope, but a hope rooted in God's promises. This series is part of something I call a greater purpose, or AGP for short. That's the heart behind my YouTube channel and Facebook page. It's not just about finding encouragement for today, but discovering the greater purpose God has for our lives. Through each video, my prayer is that we will not only feel uplifted, but also be reminded of the incredible plans God has for each of us, even in the waiting, even in the struggles. So, welcome to Moments of Hope. I'm excited to share this journey with you and I'm confident that together we will find strength in God's Word and discover our greater purpose. So let's get started. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Moments of Hope. I am Pastor Aldrin and I'm so glad you've joined me today. In this episode, we will be talking about something we all face at different points in life and that is fear. Whether it's fear of unknown, fear of failure, or even fear of change, we all experience a moment where fear tries to control our lives. But here's the good news. God has not given us a spirit of fear. And today, I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you with a message about overcoming fear with faith. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, in the New King James uh, version of the Bible, it says there that for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And this verse from Second Timothy is so powerful because it reminds us that fear does not come from God. When fear starts to take over, we can be sure that it's not from the Lord. Instead, God gives us power love and an of sound mind everything we need to stand firm in the face of fear the moment we feel afraid we can remember that god equips us with strength and clarity in the book of psalms chapter 56 verse 3 david shares something so simple yet so profound whenever i am afraid he said i will trust in you Notice that David doesn't say, if I am afraid, but whenever. Fear is something we all encounter at times, but the key is to not let it consume us. Instead, David gives us a simple action step, and that is trust in God. Trust that He is bigger than the fear. Trust that He is in control. Trust that He will bring us through whatever situation we are facing. So, what does it actually look like to choose faith over fear? It, <coughs> excuse. It, it looks like taking action even when you are uncertain. It looks like praying when you feel overwhelmed. It's stepping out in faith, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. When we trust in God, our faith grows stronger and fear Loss, loses its grip on us. Let me give you an analogy. Imagine you're driving in heavy fog. You can see the road ahead and it's easy to feel anxious and afraid. But even though your vision is limited, you keep driving, trusting that the road is still there. You might slow down, yes, but you don't stop. It is the same way with God and our faith. Through our faith, we keep on trusting that God is guiding us, guiding you, even when the path isn't clear. You may not see the whole picture, but you trust that He knows the way, because God knows everything. With God, we don't have to fear what lies ahead because He is the one leading us. Friends, fear is real, but so is God's power and love. It's very, very real. 
So when fear comes into our lives, let's be quick to turn to faith. Just like driving through the fog, we may not always see the way forward clearly, but we can trust that God is guiding us every step of the way. If you're feeling overwhelmed or uncertain about anything in your life, I want to encourage you to take take a moment and place that fear in God's hands. Let your faith rise above the fear. And if you're going through a tough times, as a pastor, I would be honored to stand with you in prayer and provide counsel. Feel free to send me a message, whether in the comments below or privately through my Facebook page, and let me know how I can minister to you. I also encourage you to share your experience in the comments. What fear are you currently facing and how are you trusting God in that area? I would love to hear from you and it might encourage someone else going through a similar situation. Remember, you're not alone. God is with you and there's a community of believers here ready to support you. So let's continue to lift each other up in faith and trust God together. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Moments of Hope. I truly believe God has great things in store for each of us as we continue to walk in faith. If this message has blessed you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook page, A Greater Purpose, AGP. So you won't miss out on future episodes. Also, if you know someone who might need a reminder to put their faith over fear, please share this video with them. God bless you and I look forward to connecting with you again soon.